Hi guys, Christy here with Cake Couture Love and welcome to another video. This video is a graduation rosette cake part two where we're going to do a little bit of airbrushing and go through the stacking. If you haven't seen part one, check that out. I'll leave the link below. And that goes through the process of preparing all the different tiers. There is also a different video that goes specifically through how to create the rosettes on the cake and I will leave a link below for that one as well. Hopefully you like this video and if you do, show us your support by smashing that like button, subscribing to our channel, following us on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and our blog. And with that, let's get started. Okay guys, so here are the tiers that all prepped for the stacking today. We have a fondant covered top tier with the grad cap and the bottom is in buttercream rosettes, all prepped with cake stacking straws and ready to go. For the third tier, we have a fondant covered cake. It's a red tier and I've already prepped it with the cake stacking straws as well. Now we're getting ready for airbrushing. I'm setting up my work area with some paper to protect my board. And I like to use Americolor Super Black when I airbrush for black. You can also see I am set up outside and it's a little bit windy, but that's okay. And actually that will help the drying process go a little faster, so that's great. A uh, note about black fondant, I don't like to make it or store it generally. So what I do is I cover my cakes in white and airbrush them black and it works pretty well. So now you're gonna complete all your coats and let your airbrush cake dry. So now I'm looking for what will be the front of the cake and find the best looking spot. I did that as well with the red tier and we're ready to stack. I do my best to center the tiers, but a lot of times I miss, so need to center it there. Now we are ready for skewers. I love using these skewers between tiers on stacked cakes. It will just really stabilize them and keep them from going anywhere. Push them through your cake board all the way through the very bottom cake board if you can, and it really secures them. Cut them off with some pliers and you're ready to go. I trim the red tier here with some ribbon and I'm also using a pin needle here to get rid of any air bubbles that popped up or that I notice and clean those out. So now we are ready for the third and top tier and I'm going to use skewers here as well. And this is awesome guys because now you have uh, four tiers or four, sorry, four skewers really working to stabilize your cake and you're going through cake boards and everything. So it works super great. Uh, now I'm adding the grad cap and I want to, you can leave it flat, but I really want to add some dimension to it. So I'm putting some additional fondant on the back there. Now I'm setting up my extruder for the tassel. I'm gonna use this little guy uh, inside my extruder and some gray fondant and it, my fondant is a little bit extra gray because I use a little too much black but that's okay you do want to start with a base color though I'm going to be painting this tassel silver so if you were making gold you might want to use ivory or yellow and that really helps I'm also using the cake itself to position the fondant uh, the tassel to see about length and how long I want the tassel to be. So just make sure you got the right position, the right length. So I'm going to cut that out and now I'm going to do that again. And it takes a little bit of muscle to get through all of the extruding, but you can do it. So we're just going to get through that and cut out this second piece here. And now we will have uh, the right thickness of the tassel that I want for this cake and we are ready to position this tassel. So now I have taken some vodka and some silver dust um, and painted the tassel. You can see how it would be so much easier when you use a base color versus white. It's just more seamless, easier to hide those mistakes. I also added this little black piece here. So now the way I make the letters is I roll out some thin fondant. I use these awesome cutters to make the letters and I cut use a brush to push them out gently 
and I position them on the cake with some shortening. I don't like to use water because water pretty much gums up the fondant, ruins the fondant, and if I make a mistake, which I often do, I have a hard time fixing it. So I stick with shortening to stick fondant pieces on fondant cakes and it works great. Now I'm using my silver dust with some vodka and I am ready to paint my letters. You can see that my letters are very dark gray, but again, that's okay. It works uh, and it still makes the process go better than if they were white. So you can see here that I made a little bit of a mess. I'm not very patient when it comes to painting letters on cakes for some reason. So to clean it up, I just used a little bit of vodka and uh, paper towel. And with that, we are done. Okay guys, that's it for our graduation rosette cake video and series and hope you really enjoyed it. If so, smash the like button, subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we will see you at our next videos.